Hey, this is your girl Fluffy 7285 coming to you with my video entry for Miss Glittery Snow White. And basically, I'm just going to show you what I use on my hair so because she wants you to do this, do your hair and makeup type of thing going on. But I'm going to have to do this like in two parts. But I just wanted to let you know what I use in my hair. This is how I style my hair. I use a wide tooth uh, comb to when I wash my hair and I put it down the middle as you can see here as this is a split right down the middle. Comb it to the sides. But before I do that I actually use this Infusium 23 leave-in conditioner in my hair. Um, this is like my favorite stuff in the world. I use this all the time to uh, detangle. I have naturally curly hair. Very tight, kinky, curly hair. And this is what I use to detangle my curly hair. So, and it works fabulous and I, this is what I use. And I also use, okay, this is a, just a bottle. It has uh, somebody else's tag on it. But I'm not going to show you that because I don't use the product that's in here because it's not here anymore. But what I actually have in here, in this little brown bottle, is extra virgin olive oil that you use for cooking. Believe it or not, that's what's in there. I have, uh, I funnel some in there, and it's extra virgin olive oil. And basically what I do is I put about the size of a dime to a quarter on my hands, push it around my palms, and put it all on my ends. That's about it. It goes all on my ends, on my ends and the tips of my hair. That's all I use. Then, um... I spray on the, I use a spray bottle when I use the infusion, just in case, I didn't tell you that. Walmart, under, I think it was like a dollar, spray bottle, and this is what I use to spray on the infusion, just so you wanted to know. And it's basically a simple routine with my hair, because I don't like to use a blow dryer on my hair until the very, very last moment, because I like to let my hair naturally air dry as much as possible. Oh, excuse me, I'm having a great deal of heartburn today. But, the product that I use the most, and I cannot live without, is the Herbal Essence Tossle Me Softly Mousse. This is what I use on my hair. I can't live without it. I love it, love it, love it. It, it, it makes the tight curl that I t genuinely have looser, or else I would have looked like Shirley Temple for back in the day. And this works really, really great. I love it. It's a really great product. Please excuse the nails. I had a hard night last night. <laughs> and they kind of broke. So please excuse the nails. But again, this is um, Herbal Essence Tossle Me Softly. It works really great on my hair. And I love it. It leaves me with a soft curl, not an overwhelmingly tight curl like I like. So anyway, yeah. This is what I use. And most of the time, the basic... I, I don't do a lot of styling to my hair. Really, I don't. I will let this air dry. And then, until it's practically almost dry on itself. And mostly, I just kind of do this throughout the process to keep it going. Keep the curls to do a little bit of separation and loosen them up a little bit so they won't be so tight. I do the flip and the toss. Do a little shake here and there. Because I want to keep the volume going on. Because I like big hair. I am an 80's baby and I love big hair so I basically do this just to keep the loose the curls loose and free I don't like them to be tied up and wound up so anyway alright glittery snow white <laughs> I hope you like that routine and as soon as it's air dried as much as possible you will get a style okay talk to you later bye I take my camera on my cell phone gave up, so I'm hoping the one on my um, camera doesn't. So hopefully this works really good. Okay, so again, here I am. I'm in the middle of blending this up all forward. And as you can see, it's just blending it up and out. I don't really want to exceed the limit of going above my brow bone, which is right about right here, beneath the fat. <laughs> if you can see that, beneath the fat. Okay, so then I just do this. And I just blend that out. Okay. And then I'm going to get, I'm going to get my Sonia Cashew Fluffy Brush. And I'm just going to blend that color so that way the line is not harsh. I don't want a, a harsh line. I want a very soft line. Um, I'm not putting anything on the brush. Um, if necessary, you can put some extra of the sin if you need to. But just 
dab it lightly. Hopefully you can see that. Just dab it lightly. You don't want to overwhelm it because, again, I don't want the color of the gunmetal to fade. I just want to blend the color. Um, if you're doing this for night, I would say you can add more of the gunmetal and you can accentuate that color even more. But I, for day, because it's still daylight out here for me, I'm just kind of wanting to to bring out the gray, the gray a little bit, but not overwhelmingly for it. So as you can see, I'm just kind of going over it lightly. And the eyes are a little bit on the watery side, so excuse me. Okay, so there you go. That's how you're going to create that look. Now, you know, you can do your brow. And I'm going to do my brow for you real quick. And then I do my falsies, which, as you can see, I have them on already on this side. And the liner and everything else. So I'm just going to do my brow for you real quick. There we go. Make sure everything looks the way I want it to look. And there we go. Okay. So, I'm going to put the false eyelash and I'm going to do the liner. And then I'll show you how I did the bottom lash line. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, YT, I apparently did not get the, my face in that video, unfortunately. So I'm going to try to tell you what I did on this eye. That way you know. Basically, it's a very simple look. Again, I used my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil inside the waterline. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. And then on the bottom lash line, I used the Jumbo LA Color Pencil in Iridescent on the lash line to get that. And then I also used my LA Colors, um, excuse me, my Maybelline's Falsies Flared in Black is Black Valium Express Mascara on my bottom lashes, which is how I created that look at the bottom, okay? Hopefully you can get that. I'm hoping you get it really good. Again, this is a very simple eye to do. I like to do simple eye looks. I really don't like to do too many very crazed out ones because I want people to be able to try these and then experiment with the colors and get the look that they want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the look off by finishing off my hair, a little bit of blush and a little bit of a lipstick and then I'll be right back. Bye! Okay YT, this is the finished look as you can see. Hair done, makeup done. What I did is I put on some blush, and this is my Physician Formulas um, ro in Rose, which I really love the color. I know it's a little bit more in the spring color, but you know what? I love it, and I think it brings out the best color in me. And on my lips, I have Plum Plum Brush, and that's from uh, L'Oreal's uh, Lay Color Lip Glosses that I love so much. Okay, I hope this is something that you all like, and I hope you like this Miss Glittery Snow White. I hope you like this look. I know that... Um, it's a little, it's a, this is kind of, I call this a day, I'm sorry, but I do call this a daytime look. <laughs> I, for me to be a night color, it would have to be extremely, extremely darker than this. And, but this is daytime still. This is like 12 o'clock in the afternoon and I have to go run some errands today. So I thought this is what I would wear today considering I've been in the best of moods lately. And anyhow, and well, you know white girl. Anyway, um, you all have a great day and I will see you later. Bye, and I wish all the other contestants in Miss Glittery Snow White's contest the best of luck. Bye.